module programming sequence. For the programming to work, the X10 wall adapter must be plugged in, and the RJ11 cable must be connected between the wall adapter and the relay module. If the wall adapter signal is reaching the relay module, the green link LED will light. Setting the relay address. First, select the relay to be programmed by pushing the relay select button multiple times until the LED lights up the desired relay location that will be programmed. Second, using an X10 command generator, which isn't included with the relay module, send an X10 off command an address that you would like the relay to be assigned. Once the relay module receives the off command, it will exit out of the select mode. The relay LED stops blinking and programs the non-volatile memory with the relay address. Setting the relay delay. Select the relay that you want to be programmed. A delay by using the same procedure mentioned is above. With the relay select press the delay button to change the number of minutes that the relay will be programmed. The first time the delay button is pressed it will set the delay to forever and the relay will never be shut up automatically. The second time the delay button is pressed, the delay will be set for one minute and every time the delay button is pressed, the delay value will be increased by one minute. The max delay value that can be programmed is 9,999 minutes. Once the final delay value is reached, then it's time to press the Enter button to complete the delay programming process. Power Supply The unit power supply offers a flexible input stage and can handle input voltage formats that are AC or DC.